So, one of the really cool things that we can do in VR now are these Steam VR home environments. And so this is almost like a desktop that you can get to all your Steam games from, you can view your Steam friends, and just do some cool interactions inside. So this is a cool thing that we can, we can use, toss some things around. Um, the best part is, is it's a cool thing that we can make. So I'm going to show one that we've been working on. So this is our VR lab at ACU for the DET department. It's a lot of letters. As you can see, just got some models in here, and this is just a cool way to create an environment and easily, easily publish it. So Steam has been very good to us in allowing us to uh, just publish a new environment almost with the click of a button. But in order to create one of these, usually you need to have an expensive VR headset and you'd have to have it hooked up all the time just to get this tool to launch. But we're going to show you is a cool way that we can get into the editing tools and be working on our VR environments uh, in, the, in the Hammer Editor without having these expensive VR headsets hooked up. Or even accessible, if that's, the, if that's the case. If you want to roll the dice and try and create something without testing it, it's certainly something you can do. So, just a sec, we're going to look at how we can get to the tool set that we can use to create environments like this without having your headset hooked up to your machine. So, if you want to make some cool Steam VR environments without a VR headset, you're going to at least need to have Steam. So, go over to your library, just to double check, make sure you go down to Tools, and you're going to need to have the Steam VR tool set get that installed. Um, if it's not here in your available list of, of tools, maybe you can look for it on the store. You're going to need to launch that. Um, I can launch that here from this VR button on the top of Steam. And it should start to complain because I do not have a headset hooked up. Headset not detected. We're going to ignore that for now. So if I come over here and I go to Workshop and Create Modify an Environment, that's what we want. And if I was to just select one of these environments and try to launch the tools as is, we get this error. There's no HMD, no head-mounted display present. So that's fine. We can work around that. So same thing, I'm going to hit Steam VR, I'm going to come over to Workshop, create and modify an environment, and they've provided a back door for us right here in the in this dialog. So if I go to show command line, here is what's getting launched from command line, executed from command line when we hit that launch tools. So I'm going to copy that. Control C and Windows R. Hit OK. I'll paste that in there. And we just need to take out tool, two of the parameters that are on this launching here. So we need to take off tools VR. And we need to take off VR. And with those gone, this should launch just fine for us without complaining about the headset. I'm going to copy this because I'm going to make a desktop shortcut for that. Go ahead and hit enter. And of course we wait. There we go. So there's what we want. There's the there's our preview. Of course, we don't have our headset hooked up, so it's all gonna, only going to do that. We've got our asset browser. We've got access to the Hammer Editor from here. Um, and I will link to the really good Steam Valve tutorial for, for how to use these editors to make those cool VR environments. But for now, um, you found the way in without having the expensive headset either purchased or hooked up at all times. So let me go back, and as promised, I'm going to go to, back to the desktop, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new shortcut. So right-click, New Shortcut, and I'm just going to paste in. Well, I thought I was going to paste it in. It appears to have left my clipboard. Let me go back to the command line, grab that guy again. 
copy, paste, there it is. Launch without headset, call whatever you want. Anyway, this gives you a, a desktop uh, icon so you don't have to go through the copy paste command line thing. Now I've got launch without a headset and I can come in and I can work on these tools and these things anytime I need. Have fun. Make cool stuff.